make yourself shine brightly uh, for our forthcoming uh, virtual career fairs. Next slide. So what we want to do today um, is cover a few things uh, pretty quickly, uh, but as Giselle mentioned a few minutes ago, uh, we will provide some time at the very end of this presentation for questions and answers, um, as well as, you know, provide some information on where you'll be able to find this recorded webinar a little bit later and some other video tutorials. So what we're going to cover today is one, how to register for the virtual career fair through your Gator Hired account. We've had several students that have uh, that have registered already for the event but we want to make sure that everybody knows how that wants to participate in the virtual career fair it's pretty simple but we'll walk you through those steps also how to populate and complete your chat profile in preparation for the virtual career fair and why it's a good idea to do this you know in advance prior to the virtual career fair also how to indicate your interest in a company on the student interface side um, that's going to be pretty important too to all employers to know in advance, you know, how many students can we expect today, um, you know, that have shared an interest um, in, in, in speaking with us today. Uh, we'll also do a very short video tutorial on the employer student interface. We'll be focusing today on the, on the interface side, the student interface side. In other words, what you'll be able to see that day and how to navigate the virtual career fair. In other words, what does it mean to be in a queue, which is basically in line? So it won't be face to face. Um, so it'll be, uh, it's set up in almost a very similar way that we do our past career fairs where students stand in line and wait patiently to speak to a uh, representative. And pretty much that's the same way that we're doing it virtually. You'll be put in a queue, which is also sort of like being in line uh, to speak to a, uh, to a representative. And then finally, we'll wrap it up with any questions uh, that you have that any of our um, career coaches um, will be able to uh, share in advance. And also, um, you know, some of the things sort of like an action plan that you should be thinking about uh, to better prepare you for the uh, virtual career fair. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to uh, share uh, my screen um, and just do some basic steps with everybody um, here today. The very first thing that you're going to want to do is to go to the uh, your Gator Hired account, okay? Because everything's going to be done through your Gator Hired account. And the way to do that, there are a couple of ways to access your Gator Hired account, but one of the simplest ways for you to access your Gator Hired account is by going to uhd.edu front slash Gator Hired. So that's uhd.edu front slash Gator Hired. And when you go there, um, you'll be presented with a screen that looks very similar to this, logging in as a student. And then here you're going to be placing your um, username and password. Now remember students, the way to get into the Gator Hired system is pretty easy to remember. The same way that you access your Blackboard account or your network account, use that same username and password. Now, don't be um, concerned about the fact that I put in a test account student uh, e email address in there. Um, you'll just be using your, again, network username, which is usually your last name, first initial, and probably some numbers that follow. So again, the way you access your Blackboard or network accounts is the same way you will access uh, the Gator Hired system. And then, of course, you'll be um, putting in your um, password. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so this is the um, home screen, home page of your student account. Now, remember I mentioned to you guys um, a little bit earlier that uh, there's a lot of information that's right now being put on your homepage, including things like student registration instructions and best practices for virtual career fairs. And as we wrap things up today, um, this is the place, again, that you'll be able to find a good bit of the information that we're covering today. Everything from how to register for the career fair, best practices, and also resources. Um, and a document library where you'll be able to see, you know, videos 
uh, on how to do virtual interviewing and how to create a resume and networking and LinkedIn and uh, how to create profiles, et cetera. A lot of that information is, is provided on your homepage, but specifically for today, um, we're gonna show you how to access, again, to register for the career fair. So this is your homepage. It should look very similar to this of your Gator Hired account. Over here to the left-hand side, go to events, do a drop down, career fairs. And right here, it will show you all the career fairs um, that are open at this particular time. Um, so I'm gonna be popping into the Davies Accounting and Finance Virtual Career Fair as a student, and I'll just click it right here, all right? And here it opens up to um, an interface, okay? And this is what your interface will look like, your personal interface. Over here to the right-hand side, you're going to see attend. And what you'll do is you'll press that attend button, okay? And then that way it will register you right then and there for the career fair, okay? And it will also show employers that you are attending that day and your career center uh, in expectation of the number of students that have attended that day. Over here, you'll also click chat profile. Now, when you click chat profile, it's gonna ask you a couple of things. It's gonna ask you to upload your resume. Now, you're gonna to need to upload your resume in advance for a few reasons. Number one, it provides um, the company with, again, an advanced uh, resume to review prior to the career fair. Our employers um, are going to be checking in about an hour before the career fair to get their arms around how many students have expressed an interest in joining them that day, they're going to be able to see your chat profile. So it's very important that you provide that resume in advance. Okay. Um, so it, it allows uh, the employer to do a couple of things. They may reach out to all of those students. And again, they may reach out. Each, each employer is different, but some employers have a plan of reaching out to students above and beyond the virtual career fair that day. They may um, send a quick email to you say, hey, saying, hey, Giselle, it's great to see you today. We look forward to speaking with you. And oh, by the way, we've got another networking session that's gonna be next week from three to 5 p.m. We hope you'll be joining us. Here's some information on how to do that. In other words, a way to correspond with those students. Um, they appreciate the fact uh, that there's an element of students that are prepared by providing a resume uh, and populating their chat profile in advance. Now also remember on this day, um, you'll be um, accessing um, your student interface during the career fair as well. So it's important to pop into your chat profile and indicate that you are online, okay? That will indicate that you're online. So that, that uh, profile will um, uh, allow you to do a drop down to indicate that you are online. Now, sometimes students, um, you know, may want to take a break. They've uh, expressed that they're attending or they're, they're in a queue at that time, may want to take a break, answer a few phone calls, or maybe grab a quick lunch or something like that. Then you can go back into your chat profile and go offline at that particular time too. So that indicates uh, to employers, even though you may be next in line or a little late with, uh, you know, in, in your queue that for some reason you didn't get a chance to show up, it indicates that you're offline. So Giselle wasn't able to attend at that time. Perhaps she may come back and get in the queue a little bit later, but she'll show that she's online at that time. So again, uh, just to wrap up the chat profile, its purpose and what you need to do to prepare is just simply, for the most part, upload that resume um, to, um, to uh, take care of that feature. The next thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna um, uh, explore the employers that are gonna be attending uh, the career fair that day. So um, over here, once you uh, go to the very top where you see overview and employers, click employers and it will show the employers that are, um, that are going to be attending that day. You'll see a variety uh, of different employers and over here to the right hand side, you're going to see a star. And right by that star, um, you will need to indicate if you are interested um, in um, speaking uh, with that employer. And again, that employer um, will be advised that Giselle is very interested in speaking to that um, company. And um, they will, um, one of two things, either reach out to you in advance, expressing their interest in 
wanting to speak with you in addition to their excitement of having you attend the career fair that day, and maybe any other information that they wish to do. Now, if you're, um, and again, an accounting student, we strongly recommend that you, uh, you know, get in line to all of these uh, companies uh, that you're interested in and in advance and mark your interest in them. Now, the all business um, career fair, on the other hand, uh, there may be some companies specific to your field of study. Obviously, you'll be more interested in seeing that company than maybe another company that might be attending that day. So hopefully everybody um, has an idea about the important aspects of getting into your student interface um, and, um, and, and, and getting registered by, again, once you're into this interface, click on the attend button, populate your chat profile, Get a good list of, of all the employers that are going to be there that day. Uh, you can get into your interface uh, right now if you wish uh, to get a, a, a gist of, of the employers that are going to be attending that day. Now, the next thing that I'm going to be providing um, everybody is a short five minute um, tutorial um, on how, what do I need to do as a student to access, um, you know, my. Uh, what do I need to do to, uh, to, to log in and again, access the interface? It's gonna be basically the same way that you have registered uh, for the event that day. But what this short video tutorial is gonna be is it will ex, uh, expound upon a little bit more about how um, the engagement will be with students and employers and what that engagement will look like, how to navigate the Q function and, and um, you know, the information that will be provided to you um, when um, a company is inviting you to join the video chat feature. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, and play um, this um, short uh, video uh, tutorial for you. And this video tutorial, again, is available on your um, homepage uh, under the student registration and virtual career fair best practices um, area of your homepage of your Gator Hired account. Take your time, but you know, students will come to your interface and they'll log in. They'll come to events on your left-hand menu. They'll click on career fairs to see your current list of fairs. Go to, you know, the job fair that they want to attend. Once they get to this um, event, if they have not RSVP, they will see that attend button at the top. So once you've RSVP'd, you're gonna see this green bar that I'm seeing now because I RSVP'd earlier in the month for this fair. If I click on this little I, I'm going to see what we call that information booth information from my career services office. So my career services office, when they set up the fair, can enter some information about, um, you know, when they're going to be available and how to reach them. So they've got this separate go to meeting that they have set up. So someone from the career services office all day long will be in that meeting. You can see here in this case, I told my students I'd be available an hour before to 30 minutes after. Um, and then also I said, here's a link to some common video conference. So, you know, you also could put some more information in here for your students. Okay, so that's how a student might get in contact with you during the fair. I click on employers. I'm gonna see the list of employers that are attending. You can see I favorited everybody. I was here a few days ago. I was pretty excited about attending this fair. I wanna, everybody here is interesting to me. Hopefully your students won't do that, but I did it for purposes of the demo. <laughs> but that's how a student says they're interested. Um, once I click on an employer, as I just did, you can see that um, they don't have, this one does not have a rep online yet. So I can't kind of join their queue, but I could click on their group chat and see what's going on with group chat today. So if they had put their link in here, they're telling me they're gonna available every hour for 30 minutes. So that employer, so I'm gonna go back and click on an employer that I know has um, lots of good information and that I wanna chat with. So. Let me find that Flory employer that we were just pretending to be. So you can see here, um, they not only have the interested, but they've got the join queue button. So I could join the queue from right here, or I could click on flower company. So I'm going to, I'm going to see here if they have a group chat going. So 
This one's saying I'll be there the whole time, right? So I can jump into this company's group chat and ask them questions while I'm in their line. And then I also can join their queue, which I'm gonna do. So I've now joined their queue. You can see I'm first in line. I'm there, they're the company I got in line for first. But one of the benefits, of course, of a virtual fair that's different than a real, than a physical fair is that I can go get another line at the same time. So I'm also interested in crystal clear. Um, I'm also, let's say, interested in rock translations. I'm, I'm going to put myself in that queue. And then while I'm waiting, so now I'm in two lines. And while I'm waiting, as we've said before, I could jump into somebody's group chat I could, you know, click on this GoToMeeting information, jump into her group chat and listen to her explanation or ask her some questions while I'm waiting to be called. Okay, so at this point as a student, I'm doing my research, I'm getting ready, I've got, you know, got my, my good clothes on, I've checked my background and I'm just waiting to be, um, you know, kind of to, to be tapped on the shoulder, so to speak. So let me pull that employer back up. So now we're back in that Flory Flower Company. And if you remember, Jack had cleared his queue. He'd seen everybody, but now Rebecca's here. So I'm actually gonna move this out of the screen because I want you to see the student side. So I'm now, as you know, I'm logged in as a student and I'm you know, looking at things and doing things. And um, at, the, at this exact moment, Jack over there from Flory Flower Company um, hit my name. So I now get invited to join chat. So now as a student, if you notice, my clock has started to go down. So I know I had five minutes with this person and it's begun. So I better click here and join their Microsoft Teams. Um, you can see that it's gonna give me um, information. We're recommending as much as possible that students choose the online version so they don't have to download anything or have the app if they just continue on this browser. And that's an option for most types of video conference today. They won't have to download anything. They can just keep going. So at this point, I would, of course, um, and I'm not going to do it because, you know, we've already seen what a what a meeting, a video meeting looks like. But I would click this button and I would get into that um, employer's go to meeting. All the while, of course, I would have this here so I could see that counting down and know I'm getting to the end. Um, if Jack and I have um, finished our conversation and he might be over there moving papers around on his desk, but I'm nervous, so I'm going to hit this third button quickly or if he hits it first, somebody will hit the button. So if I hit end chat, I'm just gonna go back. Um, I'm gonna actually have Jack hit end chat. So you can see the employer has ended this chat. So that will that's what will happen if an employer ends the chat while the student's kind of still figuring out where they are. So at that point, I now have very similar to what the employer had, the ability to leave some notes for myself. Um, loved location, job seems boring. <laughs> Um, that's too bad, right? Um, but at this point, right, I can now see in my past chat, I'm going to add any notes I want and click submit. At this point now, right, I'm in one chat. Um, and I can start looking at other employers and um, click back on the employer button, see who else, see what other lines I want to join. I'm going to click on this blue star. I can go to his group chat, right? And, um, you know, I'll click on his hyperlink and join his chat and give him a call if that doesn't work um, and I can join his queue. So that's how the student interface works. Um, it's we hope you'll see that um, you know it's pretty streamlined. It is um, it seems pretty simple. I hope that you agree with that and, and we are excited about the opportunity. We've certainly put on a lot of test fairs ourselves these last couple weeks. So We've been poking and prodding and, and really think it works great. We've had um, lots of great connections, everything working well, and we're excited to get this into your hands. Okay. Um, so that is the student interface side of, of the event. If you could bring up the third page of the PowerPoint for me, Adrian, I'd appreciate it. All right. So right now, our action plan really should be um, you know, again, all of the tutorials and the uh, video uh, tutorials, including the one that we just did, and you are College of Business students, you guys are smart enough that we went ahead and put the video tutorial about the employer and student interface. You'll notice that I started about halfway in uh, to that video tutorial. I bypassed the employer side, but you are more than welcome 
to see how it's, you know, employers, uh, what they will see on their side. In fact, you know, if, if I were you, I would explore that too, just to kind of know, you know, what are employers seeing on their interface side? You know, what, what can I be expecting also on my side? So again, this video tutorial in its entirety is available called the Employer and Student Interface um, on your homepage under the Student Registration and Virtual Career Fair Best Practices. So check that out through your Gator Hired Student account. Check out some of the terrific resources on how to create your resume, virtual interviewing, networking, and more, and that's from your Gator Hired account too. Over on the left-hand side menu bar, you'll see resources and then document library. We've got some fresh, new, incredible tutorials that we think are very relevant uh, for your networking, um, and again, to get you ready for the virtual career fair. And if any student needs a little help at any time, one thing that we painstakingly do, we've added additional. Monday through Friday, not only do we have virtual walk-in hours, but we've also added a, a virtual chat feature, which is very similar uh, to the virtual walk-in hours. You know, we give you an hour to pop in, no need for an appointment, and ask any questions that you have um, in, in preparing um, for the virtual career fair. Take advantage of that. Of course, you can always make an appointment with any of our career coaches through your Gator Hired account from your homepage. Uh, there's an area over to the right-hand side that says request an appointment with a career counselor. So without further ado, we've provided uh, as much information as we can on getting you registered and getting prepared. Um, so we're going to open up any questions that you have um, and hopefully we'll be able to answer some of those or any comments that you had, we'd, uh, we'd appreciate that. So while you guys are submitting those questions, I do have a few questions that was pre-submitted um, for the workshop. So we can go ahead and take care of those. So the first question is I am hearing impaired. Will the virtual career fair have a closed caption option? That's a very good question. Um, we strongly encourage all of our employers to use, um, because most video chat platforms have the closed caption option. We have informed our employers to do so. Um, we certainly hope that they adhere to that. But absolutely, um, it, it, worst case scenario, if a, an employer has not done that in, that in advance, you certainly have the chat feature capability of going in and requesting that option, and I'm certain that they will comply with that. Thank you for that question. All right, so next question. Um, can we still get a professional suit? And I believe they're talking about our partnerships. And ab absolutely, we have partnerships with both uh, Career Gear as for men and also uh, with Dress for Success for women. Um, they have uh, certainly done a lot of work with uh, addressing the pandemic and making sure that appropriate PPEs are available to their staff, curbside service, and I know um, we received an update today uh, from one of our partners that we are uh, providing via social media. And we want to make sure that our students are aware of the, our you know, Facebook page. Um, I know Giselle does a great deal of work, an excellent job on communicating messages regarding our, our vendors, such as Career Gear, as well as Dress for Success. But keep in mind, you can always email our office at COB Career Center at uhd.edu and request an opportunity because you must make an appointment with one of us, um, one of the staff at the College of Business Career Center in order to uh, provide you with the appropriate information to make an appointment with one of our um, uh, vendors. Only takes about five to six minutes, I think. Uh, okay, so make sure you reach out to the College of Business Career Center. Um, these services are still provided, of course they are. And that's a very good question because just because it's virtual doesn't mean that you shouldn't dress professionally for the career fair. Great question. All right. And I think that last little comment um, answered the third question. Is it still um, a good idea to dress professionally for this event? So, of course, yes. 
Um, and then a couple of questions are starting to come through the chat. One of them I kind of already answered, but I would still like to um, answer it live as well. So for the all business majors career fair is the list of employers final. Um, no, we, we had another employer sign up today, um, but um, after um, Monday around 12 noon, we will probably cut off registration um, for our employers. You know, I, I want to remind students that, you know, although, you know, we have had a lot more employers that have signed up for our past career fairs, any student that has attended our virtual career or our career fairs know that there's been a lot more, but because of the pandem pandemic, um, you know, restrictions have, um, you know, been applied to new recruiting. And, uh, but I, I want to share with the students that we've still been very active with our employer partners. We did about seven or eight info sessions over the summer. Um, opportunities still are hosted on the Gator hired system. So just because an employer doesn't necessarily attend a career fair, it doesn't mean that they're participating with on-campus recruiting and posting opportunities, okay? Or are reaching out to our um, uh, career uh, services staff to do uh, referrals uh, for job opportunities. So it's really important that you stay plugged in to your Gator hired system and account. Read those emails that we provide uh, but an answer to your question, a long answer, um, probably by Monday for the accounting and um, finance career fair, we will be closing registration for that only to, you know, do some last minute um, uh, roundup of in information for our employers and the appropriate communication provided to them and our students. Uh, we usually like to have a couple of days leeway where we've uh, closed registration in order to do those things. Okay, so questions are coming in. Um, next question is, can I still have my resume approved by you guys? What do you think, Giselle? <laughs> of course you can. We highly recommend you to do so before um, any of our career fairs or any of our uh, career events, just as a good um, measure just to have a second pair of eyes look over that. So of course you can always get your resume approved by us um, anytime. All right, so next question we have is what happens if you're in the queue and two companies are ready to meet with you? Well, you can always, um, and that's a great question too. Uh, you can always uh, pop in to one, the other will still be remaining and simply say, you know, hi Giselle, um, I've got two, two companies coming at me at once. I'm gonna pop back into the queue in a few minutes and hopefully I'll be able to see you in just a bit. And you have that capability of doing that. So again, uh, professionally speaking, I would certainly communicate so they won't, you know, have an idea about you that I've I reached out and they never responded you know, pop in, you'll be receiving again, as the tuto video tutorial showed, you'll get uh, a, a, a response um, from the company with a link, pop in and just simply say, hi, Giselle, I'm, I, I got a request for meetings from two companies at the same time. If it's okay, I'd like to get back in the queue after I've completed this one meeting with this company and I'll be with you shortly. That other invitation will not go away, okay? So don't worry about that. And that's a good problem to have. Alrighty, so next question. Um, can I access the virtual career fair through the main career center site? They listed the main um, career center website. Since I don't have access to the business uh, career center site, and is this the same thing? Uh, no, it is not. Um, our events are uh, unless otherwise posted, we do some um, career fairs um, in, in conjunction with the um, main career center, but our business uh, career fairs are only for business students. So you will not be able to access the College of Business virtual career fairs um, through the Gator, excuse me, Jobs for Gators 
your jobs for Gators account. You can only access the College of Business uh, career, Virtual Career Fairs through our Gator Hired account. Okay. And just so you will know the Gator Hired website um, for the College of Business is the website that has the business in the URL and the URL that does not have business in that is the main career center, which is for non-college of business students. But um, the main career center will be having virtual career fairs and you will go through that main college, I mean, main career center website for that. Same functionality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I believe it's called All Industries. Is that right? Yes, so. All Industries. And um, also for our College of Business students, you don't have to go through the main Career Center website. Um, that will be posted through the College of Business. So you'll be able to see um, the All Industries Career Fair too, if you would like to attend that. All right, so next question. I'm having some issues with Simplicity via phone. Who may I contact to resolve this? So you can contact our office um, anytime for any issues with uh, Simplicity or Gator Hired or um, anything like that, you can contact us via phone and our number is 713-221-5011 or you can email us at cobcareercenter at uhd.edu and we'll be happy to help. Okie doke. Next question, the Frost Bank info session is happening today. I saw this advertised on Hire Davies Instagram page, but I do not have access to it. So um, again, this event is only for College of Business students. So if you are not a College of Business student, then you wouldn't see this information. However, if you are a College of Business student, the information is posted through the events portion of Gator Hired under info sessions. And you'll be able to see it there. So you'll go to events and then info session. Okay. And I believe, yes, we have answered this one. Um, next question, this is not a career fair related, or this is not career fair related, but can we be shown how to access the job portal on Gator Hired? Um, certainly, um, there, but, but there are a couple of things. I'm going to share my screen. Just a second, guys. Hang tight just a second. Um, or just to share with you a little bit, um, bring up. Um, go to uhd.edu front slash gator hired. Um, from your um, you know, and enter in as a student from your homepage. If you have had your resume approved on the left hand menu bar of your student Gator Hired Account homepage, the very top, under home, you will see jobs and internships. You won't have access to that opportunity or the access to that menu item, unless you've had your resume approved through the College of Business Career Center, okay? So there's some steps for that, and that's a good question that you've asked. Um, the jobs and internship portion will only be made available to you typically when you've had that resume approved and in the system. And that's why we strongly encourage you to go through the office to get that resume buttoned up, we typically put you through the VMOC Smart Resume Review Platform, 
And then we also take a quick glimpse, but typically the procedure is to get that resume approved. You get access to the VMOC system, which you can through our College of Business Career Center website. Um, you'll click on the VMOC access, use your Gator email, upload your resume. All we ask for there is an 85 score or higher. At that point, you can upload your resume into the Gator Hired system. We'll approve you there. You'll get an automatic email um, sent to you saying that you now have full access. And then the jobs and internships opportunities um, uh, pop up on the left-hand side. And basically what happens from that point is, um, you know, there'll be a keyword search. You can start searching for job opportunities. Uh, see all the internships and full-time roles uh, that are in there. A good deal. And we just had a question on how to get a resume approved. So um, again, going through vmock.com slash Davies, make sure that you see our, our um, College of Business logo on that homepage. Okay. And that's it for questions for now. Again, if you do have any um, questions, we can stay on for a couple more minutes. We're here. Um, we have this allotted until one, so you can go ahead and type your questions in the Q&A 